Chris, you are on the Michael Berry Show. Welcome. Hello. Well, you know, uh, Michael, I love you when I agree with you, and I get frustrated when I don't. Yeah, that's kind of that's, typical. That, that's part of life, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> I was calling. I am a, a mitten. I, I think uh, he won last night decisively beating up on Gingrich. I think you're right when you say that he evades the question of... Uh, I, I didn't say he won that. last night. I said I said he won last oh, night. Well, I'll tell you this. His strong, if you ask me... His best moment last night, and it's accurate, was when he said, you know, Newt, every state you go to, you come in and you offer the people big spending projects for that particular state. I thought Newt, Newt's response was pretty good, but that was the high point for Mittens. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> Actually, I like the point when he uh, pointed out that, uh, that Newt had the, uh, the money invested in uh, Fannie and Freddie. I thought that was humorous to me. But, well, but that that I would say an objective that, viewer would say that's just inside baseball, two guys attacking each other. Hey, I, and I'm not objective. I get that, but uh, but honestly, New Gingrich is still on the soul of the Republican Party. I can go with Santorum potentially as a candidate because he's true, but New Gingrich is anything but. And I met Mitt Romney, and I do think he is honest and sincere. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Chris, let, let, let me ask you a question, because you yeah. represent a lot of voters. It's not you. I'm not picking on you in particular. No, that's all right. Pe- people say this to me all the time, and I, I've never understood it. They will start a sentence as part of their fawning over a candidate. They'll say, I've met fill-in-the-blank, and he's really honest, or he's really good. This meeting that you had, yeah. where where was this? Uh, just different uh, different events where he was campaigning. Okay. and I've, It's been multiple times. I've just been one. Okay. And y'all have spoken one-on-one about tough issues for well, 15 or 20 seconds. I actually, uh, probably about 10 minutes, I talked to him about asking the question, because uh, I was not convinced that he had uh, converted to, uh, to right to life, to, uh, to being um, pro-life. And I thought he was really wishy-washy on it, and I wanted to really hear his answer on that. And so I had a chance to talk to him directly about that. And I truly believe he has converted to be a true conservative on the issue of life. Roughly, when do you think he made that conversion? I think he made it when he was, according to him, and listen to him, he made it when he was in office uh, as Massachusetts governor, not as running. I agree with that. I mean, okay. no doubt <laughs> well, it's kind of convenient, but, isn't it? Hey, you know what? Everybody makes a choice at a certain time in their life. I'm glad you come over to it than never. So, I mean, uh, so was uh, Ronald Reagan. I didn't even realize this. And I think you talked about it one time. Ronald yep. Reagan uh, was pro-choice as well. Um, he converted. Yeah. Um, it's, and, a little, it's a little bit of a different situation, but but that's okay. But hey, let me, I, let me let, let's go back to Mittens. So you're not at all troubled by the fact that um, – well, for instance, you're not troubled by his record as, as uh, Massachusetts governor. You're not troubled by Romney Care. Hey, I think Romney Care is horrible. But you know what? I believe in the Tenth Amendment. States' right to be stupid, and Massachusetts people—they're stupid on that issue. But let them be stupid. My big thing is they don't do it on the national level, and he has promised unequivocally that he will not do it at the national level. And I believe him when he says that. Okay, but just just so we know, he yeah. promised the people of Massachusetts that he was for gun control, he was an independent, not a Republican, and that he was pro-choice. So so he's made promises in the past that are a little disturbing. I mean, I guess at some point, you're welcome to your vote. I'm just trying oh, to understand. You that. have to reconcile these things, and I'm curious. Are you Mormon by any chance? <laughs> I am LDS, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Chris, but, uh, but, hey, wait Chris, a Chris, come on now. you got to start the conversation with that. you got to. Oh, so every time I meet somebody, I say, hey, I'm, I'm Mormon. So, uh, so therefore, I'm Harry Reid back or two. Is that, is that what I have to do? I no, to no, but Chris, come on now. You have to admit that if, if I criticize Obama, seven out of the first eight calls I'm going to get are from people who are black. You know that. I, you're absolutely right, but I just don't think it's a relevant conversation to have because <laughs> I don't vote. I don't. I don't vote for some of the Come on, Chris. You seem like such a great guy. You got to be. You kind of think it would be Michael, neat to have Michael. a Mormon as president. On that side, yes, I agree with you. I, I do agree with you on that. From a from a purely um, irrational point of view, you're right. And I, and I can I ask that. you a question, Chris? Why can Mormons not laugh at themselves? I mean, you know, as Southern Baptists, we say, you know, you can't have sex before marriage because it might lead to dancing. That's funny. 
It's an insult that might lead to dancing. I make magic underwear jokes. Oh, my goodness, you would think I was the Antichrist or whatever Mormonism has for a bad guy. I get hate emails. I'm the worst person. Look, if you want to make the Mormon issue go away, you make jokes about it, and tomorrow it's gone. But people don't get that. I uh, know you're, you're right on a lot of those issues. That one particular issue you bring up with uh, the um, the garments or how did you refer to magic underwear, uh, it's, it's funny, but it's, it's something that, that we as Mormons consider to be sacred and uh, religious. And so it's, it, it, it rubs, I guess. You're right. You, you it chafes you, doesn't it? And well, it's not. It doesn't me personally because I've heard everything and it doesn't bother me. But uh, it, it just uh, it's one of those things that we don't want to joke around about because we actually believe in our religion. So it's not that... Uh, it's, so you it is believe it in is. the magic underwear? I, I do believe that my religion is uh, teaches true principles. Yes, I believe Let me ask you this, because I have to tell you, you are my favorite Mormon caller since Mormons have been mad at me for criticizing mittens. I, I have to tell you, you really are. But, but could you please explain to me the magic underwear, just so I understand? Uh, I'll do the best I can. I, I'm not a representative, so no one's caught the Mormon Church saying, hey, this is doctrine. Oh, by the way, by the way, yeah. uh, you know what? You've raised a good question. I'm often criticized by Mormons because why do I have people on that criticize Mormonism like Pastor Jeffress, and I don't have anyone? We have repeatedly, and Chad's nodding his head, we have begged the National Mormon Church. We have gone to them over and over. We want their I believe people. you. We have given them a chance to stay on for an entire show. For the first time, I think, during this campaign, we've had a Mormon caller who doesn't take himself so seriously that he gets all upset and calls me bad names for questioning mittens. <laughs> so, Chris, we're talking yes, about the sir. magic underwear yes, sir. and why people get so upset about it. And frankly, the rest of us have no idea what it's about, but sometimes when you find a weak spot like that, you, you say it because it makes people uncomfortable. All right, so you were explaining. You were explaining to me how important the faith is, but I need to understand the undergarment itself. That, uh, that, that, that does represent our faith. It represents, if we're living a, a life that we think follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, um, you know, again, being chased, uh, you know, trying to, to build up and, and preach the Word of God to share the salvation of Jesus Christ, uh, it represents just that. Um, and 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 then everything else just comes down to your faith of whether you believe it or not. If you don't believe it, it has no significance at all. Are, are these a particular brand of underwear? Fruit of the Loom? or are these? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Are these from I, the right, church? I'm probably going to get in big trouble for this, all this uh, talk. No, um, it's not. It's not. A, it's, the church makes it. Um, that's, uh, and I know that they, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I think they have different factors. I don't know anything about the manufacturing of it or where they do it exactly. So you buy it from them? Yeah, you have to. You have to have. You have to be a member in good standing. Um, you have to go and meet with your, we call it a bishop, um, be a, anyway, a bishop, and the, the bishop asks you questions, and you, you have a choice to answer honestly. Uh, say, hey, are you living the principle? Are you, uh, are you, are you faithful? Um, uh, do you faithfully follow the teachings of the church? In other words, do you, uh, you know, people know we don't drink alcohol or uh, drink, uh, smoke coffee or drink tea or so forth. What? Smoke coffee. What? Uh, you can't have coffee or tea or booze? No, none of all three. Well, what's left? <laughs> what is left, Chris? What's left? I know. I can't days, do this. There are days when I feel the same way. But, <laughs> but oh. nonetheless, uh, we, we don't. Uh, okay, so back to the garment. Back to the garment. Yes, sir. And I have to ask you a question because I get this. Every time I talk to a Mormon on air, there is this reference, and some of them refuse to come on air. They go, oh, I'm going to get in trouble for this. Is there some sort of a church doctrine that you're not allowed to talk about the religion? Well, no, no, there's no church doctrine like that. Um, there's got to be something, Chris, because people get very no. nervous. They say, I shouldn't do that. I, I'm not supposed to do that. Are, is it the fear of the revealing general. secrets? No, it's a matter of being, it's a matter of being respectful. We think to uh, to our religion. We feel like if we just put it out there, it's like the comments in the scriptures where it says you don't put your pearl before the swine. We feel that something's precious, and we don't just want to put it out there for people to ridicule when we consider it to be a very precious issue to us. Okay, and and I wouldn't try to tell a religion a church how to run their church, but you do understand that keeping secrets like this leads people to be able to level the charge cult, and what we don't know, we fear. Yeah. I, we, we, the way we 
way we look at it is that we don't look at it as a secret because, you know, Michael, now I know you're not going to join, but if you'd like to join, you can learn all about it. <laughs> but uh, we look at it as a secret, not a secret issue. Okay, fair enough. So back to the garment itself. Back to the, oh, yes, sir, yeah. Boxers or briefs? <laughs> Have you ever seen the, um, the Calvin uh, Klein underwear that uh, goes down to about your knees? Oh, no, 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 those are uncomfortable. Uh, so what if you're wearing shorts? I, we're supposed to cover them at all times, um, unless you're doing something like, you know, playing. Unless there's, you know, you're swimming, obviously, that's not practical. Huh. All right, so, so these are not the underwear. You still wear separate underwear. No, no, this is, this is our garment. This is our uh, undergarments, yeah. This is, so don't, what, I don't wear, um, I mean, when I go... I can't believe I'm talking this on national radio. Um, when you go and uh, play basketball, I'll wear normal, you know, uh, paint. Okay. So is there is there something special about the storage of this garment? No. The treatment of this garment? Who can touch the garment? Well, I, no, I mean, as far as I, mean, I wash my own clothes, um, I don't know if there's anything like, no, I... You, no, there's nothing I can think of that would fit So, that. like, if you had a maid, could she wash that garment? Oh, yeah. Okay. And yeah. and can you get it in any color? Uh, actually, the, mil the military, um, they'll, they'll adapt it. Like, there's a lot of uh, members that serve in the military. Uh, we're very pro. In our, in our religion, we teach that you should be very— patriotism is a very important thing in our religion. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, yeah. We have, I have a lot of Mormon listeners— a lot more than I more than I realized until I started criticizing mittens, and apparently criticizing mittens was criticizing Mormonism, and that's how they all. Oh, came oh. Out. now that's see, now that's that's wrong because the church goes out of the way, never endorses any candidate, and uh, the fact that I have no problem with people having a problem with mittens when it comes to, or just, I should say, mitten rocky stuff, uh, but I have a problem with people criticizing him just for his religion, but I have no problem criticizing him for his policies. Right. If I was liberal, I would never vote for a Mormon in my mind because of some of our teachings. I right. think I, I never understand, and, and this is, again, Harry this is talking. I, I don't understand that. Not at all. I, I think our teaching preaches overwhelmingly pro-life issues, being personally responsible. Everything oh, okay, I, I don't mean to quibble. I don't mean to quibble, yeah. and I'm, I'm, not right. trying to, I'm not trying to irritate you. But, no, you know, not. people have weight swings. So let's say a guy loses 100 pounds. Does he go back to the bishop and say, I need to change out my size? Because it happens. Oh, uh, no. If you need to pick up more, uh, you know, like, like I've had weight swings myself. <laughs> uh, you go, you just go, you just uh, go down to the store. They have, they have stores like in the, um, down the, they'll have uh, stores that are set aside that are, that sell, that are allowed to sell the garments. And like out, go, at a, out at a strip center or at the church? Uh, at uh, Different spots. It just depends on where you're at. I mean, I've seen them all over the different. There's not all over the place, but a lot of times they're down by the temple, like for example in Houston, um, or they might be uh, like if you go up to Utah, they're all over the place. As far as I know, they're called distribution centers. Okay. Um, all right. Fair enough. But yeah, you just go and you can. You don't need to go meet with your bishop every time you want to get a new, new clothes. Huh. Are there any other special garments you wear? No, sir. Well, I appreciate you answering that. I don't understand why. I mean, I, I understand the, the, the fear of ridicule, but I just, I, I strategically, I think it's a bad move to hide these things because it leads to such speculation and conjecture that makes it far worse. And, and I'm not sure. What do you do for a living, Chris? I work in healthcare. Do you bank? Do you make more than $150,000 a year? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're lying. I, I, I don't. I'm in sales, so, uh, you know, it fluctuates. So, uh, like, for example, with uh, Obamacare, it's uh, a little bit scary. Well, I every year they we get all these studies as part of our show prep, and it's always the case that the religious group that has the highest per capita earnings are Mormon. And I, I think nine out of ten Mormons must be Republicans, just based on what I've seen. If not, oh. if not conservatives, at least Republicans. The majority, I would say, are. I mean, I'm, I, I do have some LDS friends or Mormon friends that are not. Uh, but uh, the majority. Do you I not say are, Mormon? Do you always say LDS and not Mormon? Uh, it's uh, the Mormon is a uh, is a nickname. 
It just goes after the Book of Mormon, which is uh, one of our teachings along with the Bible. Fair so enough. So usually refer to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Chris, you are a great call. You have done your cause much good, believe it or not. I don't care who criticizes you. Thanks for the call. More of those coming up.